Want to create a 3D knitting t-shirt mock-up like this? In this tutorial, I will show you how to do just that. I will take you through the process step-by-step step to help you create an ultra-realistic 3D knitting t-shirt mock-up using your designs. The tutorial is beginner-friendly. No prior experience is required. You can completely customize the mock-up and export the animation zooming out or as a full shot of the shirt. Let's get started. First, you will need to download Blender. This is completely free. Make sure to download the correct version for your computer. Next, go to the link in my bio and download the 3D t-shirt knitting mock-up. Once you have downloaded the folder, open it and double-click the Photoshop file. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use photo-p.com for free instead. Once you open the Photoshop file, you will be presented with different sections of the t-shirt spread across a page. Hide the information layer and place your designs into the position you would like them to show on the 3D t-shirt. Place your logo at the top of the logo sections. If you don't want labels, you can leave it blank. Unhide the t-shirt color layer. You can change the color of your t-shirt by changing the color of this layer. Go to File and press Save and go back to the Download folder. Next, double-click the 3D Knitting T-Shirt Blender file. You will be presented with a blank T-Shirt. Before we go further, let's change some settings in Blender. Go Edit, Preferences, System, and then select your GPU. If your computer does not have one, you can leave it as it is. Select this icon and set your render engine to Cycles and Device to GPU. If you don't have a GPU, you can leave the device as it is. Select this icon to preview your designs on the shirt. To view other sections of the shirt, select this icon, click and hold down the red X, and move your mouse to rotate. Select the same icon as before to preview your designs from this angle. To return to the original view, select the camera icon if you would like to remove the labels. Deselect this checkbox and select this one instead. If you scroll through the timeline, you can see how the animation plays out. Don't worry about the top part of the shirt still being visible. This will disappear in the final render. As you can see, the threads are not the correct color for our shirt. To change these, simply select this icon labeled Threads. You will be presented with a color picker. Change the color to whichever color you would like your threads to be. Perfect. If you would like to change your design on the shirt, go back to the Photoshop file, make the adjustment, and then save the document. To refresh the designs in Blender, select these two icons. We have set up three different cameras for you to experiment with. By default, the mock-up is set to 360 rotation. There are is also a reverse 360 camera and a zoom-out camera. To select a camera, simply select the icon next to it. Select this icon. Here you can change the resolution of your animation. A higher resolution means more detail, but it will increase your render time.
Select here and choose where to save your animation. By default, the mock-up is set to export a transparent PNG sequence. This is so you can then import it into any editing program and add a custom background. If you want to export straight to video, change file format to FFmpeg and encoding to MPEG-4. Finally, press Render and Render Animation, and watch as your computer exports an incredible ultra-realistic 3D animation of your product. Wait until all 260 frames have rendered, depending on your computer. This might take a few hours so you can leave it running and come back to it later. If you export it as a transparent PNG sequence, I'm now going to show you how to add a custom background to your video. If you want to add a custom background in a program such as After Effects, create a new composition. In this case, we will use 1080 by 1920 for social media posts. Double-click on this area to import media. Select the first image in the sequence and ensure that PNG sequence is selected. Drag the sequence into the composition. As you can see, the sequence now plays as a video. Websites like Pixabay have loads of free videos you can use as a background. Download one and drag it onto the composition. Place it below the sequence and resize it to fill the background. Finally, render the animation. To download the files, simply go to the description below this video and get started. Thank you for watching. If this video provided value to you, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing.